Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. Today I want to show you how to deal with shadow root in your application. For an example, I will use this toaster. It's a custom web component created by my friend Toby. And this component uses a shadow DOM to actually handle and draw this component. You can click on the handle to grill the toast and in a few seconds the result will appear. Nice. Let's see how we can test it from Cypress. I already started a repository, so all I have to do to run the component and open Cypress is to use start server and test. I'm serving the local build folder and I'm opening Cypress and already I have, have my simple test running right here. Okay, so the test just visits the page. You can see it's visible. The toaster is working. And now I want to click on this handle from a Cypress test. So let's look at this handle. I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to find this handle. And you can see that it's inside the tasty toaster custom element. It's under the shadow root. It has a toaster and a handle. So my initial idea is to do what I usually do. Get the handle and click on it. Now notice this doesn't work because there is a shadow root boundary between the page and the custom element. So how do you deal with shadow elements? Well, first thing, you go to the docs for Cypress and you search for shadow. And there is an API. So it seems like you can use shadow command by going to a shadow host at the boundary, executing the shadow, and then searching inside. So we're going to say sci get. And what's my shadow boundary? Well, it's this tasty toaster custom element. Taste toaster shadow and inside instead of a get I'll use find because the find is the child command for finding elements. Oh, I forgot to remove sci. Notice the toaster just worked and started grilling and the toast is ready. So this shadow command goes through the uh, shadow boundary, then we find the handle and we click on it. It shows the element correctly. Now while it's grilling, let's look at the test again. If I inspect the toaster, and sometimes the dev tools does not show the new page. I think it's like connected to a wrong page, but this is the toaster. Notice while it's grilling, it has a class grilling. So this is something I want to confirm from the test. So again, I'll do the same thing. Get the shadow, find toaster, and I'll say should have class grilling. Perfect. So it does get a class grilling when we click on the handle. When it finishes grilling, that class is gone. So this is what we can do. We can say, go find the same element and it should not have class grilling. Oof, uh, the default command timeout of four seconds is not enough. Our grilling takes slightly longer. So what we can do here, we can use a custom timeout of let's say 10 seconds. So it will search for the toaster, check if it have, still has class grilling, and if yes, go back, find the element toaster and so on from the shadow root. Now the test is passing, we confirm that we can grill and it finishes grilling. There is a lot of duplication here. Well, don't you agree? So the one thing I like to do is use within command. So we can say the same thing right here. And then we can say within. All right. Well, we always use the shadow right command that's what we the element we really are trying to work with so what we will do we'll say shadow within and all the commands that we're running should be limited to that element now i can try doing what i've done before so let me just remove it so i'll remove it the problem is that the shadow and within don't play very well together but to make it work all you have to do, you'll say sci root, and this will refer to the shadow element um, that we are working with. So everywhere I'm using get tasty toaster shadow, I can say root, and it will work as before. Perfect. Now there is one more problem, is that we want to shorten this a little bit, um, or we can shorten this. We can say find toaster right because ultimately 
you know, the handle, everything we're doing is inside the toaster. So if we use the toaster, then we can remove it and we can remove it right here. And it almost works. Notice that I forgot to find the handle. Okay, it almost works. Notice that the root that should not have class grilling, right, is executed too quickly, right? So we need to put our all timeout. Unfortunately, the root command does not accept the timeout, the custom timeout, like I want to do it here. But the root right now refers to the toaster element. So in order for us to make it work, we'll say, get me the root, immediately find, uh, not, not even the find, actually. So the find will say, get me the root, get the first element there, and that will be the toaster. And that's where we can put the timeout. And now it's working. Notice the root, checking the first element, while it still has class grilling, retries, the toast is gone, and uh, no longer has the class grilling. We can inspect the elements to confirm. So the root is the class toaster, and the first just yields back that class toaster. So this is how you can use a custom timeout if you want to use site root if you are inside the shadow DOM element.